Hello and welcome to this video about Dev Security Ops or also known as Dev SecOps. What is this Dev SecOps? What do we have to understand of this particular terminology? Is it for me and what is the introduction for it? I will be discussing this in next 10 minutes. So stay with me. The definition of Dev SecOps is it is a software development approach that aims to bring development and security together when we build a software application. Now, what do I mean by it? We will take some examples to understand this. When you are building a software, do we really think of the security part of the software? Well, it depends, right? So sometimes we build software so fast that we forget to think about the security implications that come once we deploy this application. To merge these two points together, that is to be aware of the security concerns that might arise after the code is deployed, we introduce the term DevSecOps. There are some key terminologies that we have to understand. That one question you will have for sure is, what is the difference between cybersecurity and DevSecOps? What exactly is the difference? And we will try to understand this now. Cybersecurity is primarily focused on protecting the system from external threats. Whereas DevSecOps focuses on integrating security into development process. That is what we just discussed now. So in cybersecurity, a lot of penetration testing or white hat or red hat topics are going to come into picture. Wherein in DevSecOps, we are going to focus on software development lifecycle wherever we can introduce security into this particular life cycle. Next point, cyber security covers wide range of topics, right? It's a vast ocean by itself and it includes network security, data security, data protection, etc. While DevSecOps focuses only on software development. That is it. When you develop a software, what kind of security we can implement or embed to this application? It doesn't focus us on data security and a lot more other topics that are out there in the security world. Before I go to the third point, remember I have two courses in Udemy that focus us on practical interview questions and answer and how to attempt them in the interview. There is a collection of more than 50 plus DevOps question and if you are a fresher, then a particular course only focusing on AWS interview questions and answer. You can find the course link in the description of this video. The third point is cybersecurity typically involves security measure after the development. And that is correct, right? So cybersecurity is a vast application. Like they are the first layer of defense that we have. and It will cover everything. Whereas DevSecOps again is only there when we build the software or the application. It is not there in every single place. And it is not the first layer of defense that we have. The last point is cybersecurity often involves collaboration between an IT and security team. Well, again, dev security ops, because it is a software development lifecycle, will involve software engineers, but an overview from security. That is it. So whenever you build an application, if you keep in mind the security concepts around the application itself, then you are following a dev secops practice. I know it is a bit confusing with all this explanation also you might not be finding a clear difference right i will try to give you an example and let us see if it helps let us say we are building a house now there is the process of building the house and after the house is completed correct so we have two separate phases let us try to understand during the construction phase what kind of security will you take care you will make sure that the foundation of the house is neat it is proper, it is strong. What kind of material you are using to build this particular house? Again, it is also important. Then the plumbing of the house, making sure that you implement and embed it properly so that you don't have leaks in the future. Correct? Now, once the house is completely built, you're going to focus on the other part of security that is installing the CCTV monitoring cameras or having external fences or making sure that you have rainwater harvesting or some kind of external paint or plasters that shall not affect your house during heavy thunderstorm, right? So just these two examples, if you consider, you will find a difference here. The left side is dev security ops and the right side is cyber security. 
This is just a small example. This doesn't need to be like this, but I believe you're able to understand. When you implement the security best practices during the building of your software, that is during the building of your house, you can consider it as development security operations. The security concepts that covers the overall application after it is deployed and it is maintaining it, then this is cyber security. I hope the difference is very clear for you. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe. We have a video coming in every week. So don't miss it out. That is it for this video. Thank you.